Good afternoon, Mark Bruno with Inkish TV at Printing United Expo, day two. We're here at the Kia Sera booth, and with me today is Dustin Groutman. Dustin, how are you? Good. You're the uh, Good senior director of the inkjet business for Kia Sera. Sure. And we're standing in front of your Tescalfa Pro 15000C, yeah. which I know is not a, a new press. It's been around for a few years, but tell us, tell us what's new about it. So, so the Tescalfa, we entered the market. We were not in production until late 2019. We introduced the, the 15000C into the market. Um, have built a pretty good install base of it. Just recently announced we're number one market share. Uh, just launched this Plockmatic booklet maker, so it expands the application space. Uh, we see a lot of uptake in publishing and being able to finish booklets right off the end of the device is really ramping up the demand. So we see a lot of demand for this so right this, out of the gate. This is an inkjet device? Yep. Cut sheet? Cut sheet inkjet, so essentially 13 by 19 page size, so two up letter size essentially or straight letter, and um, it's uh, primarily uncoated papers, so we transactional documents, direct mail type applications, letter solicitation, postcards, um, and then publishing applications. So we see a lot in the educational uh, segment right now with uh, curriculum that's done by K-12 schools. We're seeing universities starting to buy it for course packs, and then there's a whole range of applications we have going into ballot printers and different things like that. Okay, and uh, the, the uh the market share data that you mentioned, is that, uh, yeah. did you say IDC? That's IDC data, yeah. Uh -huh. So it's referencing for uh, all cut sheet inkjet devices from this, you know, being really the entry level up to some of the larger devices that, uh, you know, probably cap out with Landa, so. And is that North American data or, or yeah, global? Yeah, that's North, North, American do North American data, yeah. Okay. So like about how many installs now have you guys? So we're over 320 installs since we launched this, this product. Okay. And, you know, for a company that frankly was not even in production inkjet, wasn't in the production market at all, to be able to go from nothing to number one market share in that period of time, we think that's a pretty big accomplishment. Yeah, yeah, so it sounds like this printer is, uh, Perfect for, for implants, right? Sure. Um, but also has commercial uh, applications on, on the production side? Oh yeah, so so probably not, I would, we have commercial printers that use it, but it really is more companies that would define themselves as direct mail printers or transactional printers, bills and statements, and then certainly the implant market. They, they will use it for a range of things. So we, we have healthcare, healthcare organizations that do explanation of benefits and, and uh, patient communications, and we have, uh, we have financial institutions that use it for statements, but you know more in an implant environment. So that kind of range of applications. Okay, and, and I know you said also, Dustin, that you've got a machine here. I don't know. Are, are you showing the other machine that that's going to be a coded version? Is yeah. That... So the fifty-five thousand C is. So this is the second year that we've had it here at the show. We're really excited to get that launched next year. And what that is is it's a coded paper version, um, totally different technology. So what really gave Kia Sera the the entry into the market, the fact that we could come from nowhere on is, is that our print head technology is, is really the benchmark in the industry. Our very industrial, robust piezo print heads. And so that has our latest generation 1200 DPI print head. So that is really going after the traditional toner space where graphic communications type applications, um, really, really uh, catalogs and brochures and uh, you know, high-end direct mail pieces. So really where toners had a lot of success probably over the last 10 or 15 years, but capped out from a technology, Inkjet's ready to, to step into the breach and, and advance it to the next generation. Okay, and, and the, uh, the coded uh, machine, that's gonna be rolled out next year, you say? Yeah, it'll be next year, yeah. Okay. So we'll start, out, we'll start out with a handful of placements probably in the first half of the year. Very controlled environments with customers that have substantial applications, and we can learn from them. Good partnerships, and then toward you know toward the middle of the year, we expect to, to fully launch it and make it available to, to all customers and partners. Okay, any any other noteworthy product products here in the booth, Dustin? That so we we do have uh, another thing that's quite interesting over there, which is the Four Earth. It's a textile printing device that we also anticipate launching next year. So again, Kia Sera Printhead technology. We have a dominant market share in terms of the devices that are placed in the industry using Kia Sera print heads. So this is our first uh, product that we're going to launch into the market and it's got some unique characteristics. So it's a direct to fabric printer. So a lot of other fabric manufacturing processes use multiple steps, use a lot of water, aren't always so environmentally friendly. So this product, because of the ink formulations, the print head optimization together, 
can go right to direct to a range of fabrics, everything from silk to cottons to some of the, the more stretchy uh, spandex type like materials. Okay, very cool, very cool. Um, and how's traffic been? We're, we're uh, halfway through the show. How's traffic been? Uh, traffic's been very consistent. It's been good. Yeah. It's been good, good, yeah. So a lot of good meetings with partners, a lot of interest in both platforms. Um, love to see the customers come that have that have purchased the 15,000C as validation that you know they're still very excited about their investment. Probably for us, the thing that validates that is we see more and more customers that didn't just buy one, they're buying a second, a third. We have a number of customers that are up to five or more machines that they're using. So it's not just a, a, a niche product that they're putting in to do one application. They're building their business around what our inkjet technology can do for them. Yeah, yeah, good stuff. Well, ho hopefully the second half of the show is as good as the last day. We hope half so too. Hi. Good to meet you. Thanks, Mark.